This is a 2018 data production, Canadian Forces Individual Meal Pack, or IMP. The 2018s come in 21 separate menus. This is menu 18, Shepherd's Pie. It's a supper menu. There are breakfast, lunch slash dinner, and then supper menus. Oh boy, look at that. This is probably the only ration you see this. Let's check it out. It's funny because all this time I was slitting these from the back or ripping them open. Old Smokey taught me. You gotta check out Old Smokey's channel. Here, this is how you open these. It's like the best way to open these because then you can reclose them easily and clean. Okay, so right off the bat, this is your dessert. A date square. I think that's 41 grams of sugar, 410 calories. That's pretty dense. Pain hamburger. Hamburger bun. Oh yeah, Nestle's Kit Kat. That's a nice morale boost. I mean, when you're a ration person, getting commercial items can be boring, but for the soldier, that's nice. This is your main course, shepherd's pie. Every time I get a shepherd's pie, it's like bulged. Look at this, it's like puffy. Two beverage bases, ice sports drink. That's like a blue Gatorade. Strawberry jam, peanut butter, coffee whitener. Oh, nice. Espresso roast coffee. You know, 2018, it's strange. They actually pared it down to, I think, only three out of the 21 menus for the espresso roast coffee. The rest of them are those three-in-ones, which don't get me wrong, those are nice, but that's way better, in my opinion. Tomato ketchup. That's cool. Just a little pack of ketchup. Some sugar. Oh, wow. Another pack of ketchup. That's pretty generous. Vanilla drink mix. That's like a protein shake, essentially. 19 grams of sugar, 12 grams of protein, zero grams of fat. This is your beverage bag. That thing is always on point. The IMP Spork that was introduced in 2017. A strong paper towel. Matches. A little pack of Tic Tacs. These are great. You could put them in your wallet. This is like the ultimate mint for going out on a date because like if it falls out of your mouth in the middle of conversation, she's not going to notice. At least hopefully not. Can't have those big old peppermints. Those aren't going to do it. And a compressed napkin with a Canadian leaf on it, making it official. And that's everything. Okay, so there's everything laid out. Unlike the USMRE, the Canadian IMP's flameless ration heater is issued separately. Check this out. It's These are hard to get. Much more difficult to get than the ration itself from what I found. Kingston, Ontario. Action meals. That is quite the spread for just one single meal. Not bad. All right, let's get this out on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's actually declutter this. This looks ridiculous. First start off with this main course and heat it up. Gonna keep the date square, you know, cool. You don't wanna heat up dates. You know, wow, look at this thing. It's just a puffy retort pouch. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was infested with a nice case of botulism, but I'm pretty sure it's not since this thing is only a year old. Look at that heating element. It looks almost identical to the MREs, but it's a little bit larger. Let's get this in there. I don't like setting it on the outside. It never heats as well. Get it right up on that element. This thing takes like twice as much water as the MREs. Like that fill line, still not up to it. There we go. Get it equalized with a little opening. Listen to that. Very reactive. That thing works well. Wow, it's getting hot. 
cool. We'll set that right here, and this will be the rock. Kind of hold that, our extra beverage base. We get two of them. There we go. And while that's doing its thing, let's check out this beverage base. The FRH has a nice odor to it. I think it's powerful. This stuff's pretty blue. Look at that. Hmm, smells like blue cotton candy. Not bad. Nice. Wow. With a little citrus, like citric acid. Now for the coffee. It has a slightly bold and nutty smell to it. I mean, when you can smell freeze dried like that, that's quality. Okay, and then the vanilla drink mix. Love how the drinks have the built-in gusset, you know, at the bottom of the pouch. That's really nice. You know, it's you're not going to be setting it down and it just opens up somewhere or spills. Hmm, that's a very rich and smooth vanilla smell. It's it actually smells pretty natural. Open up this Kit Kat. I'm not gonna need the cream or sugar for the espresso roast. That just really take away from the the excellent flavor that has a 3.2 gram freeze dry that's strong and makes out to a perfect eight ounces. Look at this. No bloom whatsoever. No fat separation to those Kit Kats. Now for that pain hamburger. These things always smell bizarre. Get that excellent, unique, and extremely off-putting chemical smell. It's what makes this hamburger bun so unique. The shelf stability of this is incredible. These things will last five years. We're gonna have this as the open face PB&J, while this piece will be for the shepherd's pie. I think it's pretty cool. They give you these little components Excellent menu variation to the IMP. These things have only improved over the last, you know, 30 years plus that they've been in production. Actually, by this point, I'm pretty sure they've been more like 40 years. I keep thinking it's 2010. It's not. Okay, yeah, 40 years. Then for the jam. That's art right there. Oh, yeah. That's a steamer. Such an incredibly puffy pouch. I do not like that. Goes against all instincts, but. Ooh, look at that corn. Gourmet. And finally for that date square.
Oh, wow. That has a sweet and velvety smell of dates and like a shortening. That smells delectable. That is a beaut. The perfect IMP supper right there. Okay. I'm going to try this out just on its own first here. Ground beef, cubed potatoes, and corn. Hmm. That's a very prevalent cafeteria flavor to it. It's just tastes like something you'd get in an elementary school cafeteria or like a nursing home. It's pretty good. It's pure comfort food. The potatoes are very soft. The ground beef is lean and tender. The corn, that just adds a little texture and flavor, color, make you feel like you're getting a vegetable or something. Let's set that there. Put some ketchup on it. The ketchup is just like ketchup you get in a fast food restaurant. It's very sweet. All right, I gotta start with this little thing. Open face shepherd's pie sandwich. Mm, it's pretty messy. That doesn't really work. Save this little piece, but it was worth a shot. It looked cool. The ketchup helps because this isn't super flavorful. This is a great meal though. This is one of the ones that if you're going to get an IMP, you got to try this out. I mean, you could eat it super fast. So for a soldier, this thing makes sense. You could probably take the bun and just break it up right in the pouch with it. The pouch is huge, the retort. There's a lot of space in there. I would put the whole bun in there, like break it up, drop it in with the shepherd's pie, put two packs of ketchup in it. And then with this PB and J, just eat it on the go, straight out of the pack. The vanilla shake. It's not too sweet. The flavor is perfect and it's really whipped. I like that. It's a great texture. It goes down easy. I really like the way its consistency is. Again, not overly sweet. A quick shot of 12 grams of protein. Followed up with some espresso. Or espresso roast coffee. That's the best instant coffee in any ration currently in service. That's a robust strong, very flavorful, multi-dimensional flavor. I mean, it's nutty, it's bold. That's amazing. I just want to follow it up with some PB&J. Just, I keep going over this. I, I love peanut butter and jelly. I used to eat them a lot when I was a kid. It's odd. The first thing I picked up was the bitterness of the preservatives in the bread. That bread is awful, but it's shelf stable and it's better than crackers all the time. Man, that is exceptional coffee. I feel like it would pair well with this date square, but you can't really pick this thing up. I think it'll just crumble apart. You want to eat it with your spork. predominantly dates. It's like a date crumble or something. It's not like a cake. If dates could make a cobbler, very smooth texture. It's super sweet, but not so sweet that it burns, you know, your tongue. That's good. This spork, that was, that was pure genius. I mean, they took an MRE spoon and turned it into a spork. It's just far superior. I don't know why the USMRE won't do that. I mean, maybe they will eventually. They probably won't. Mm. If you were a soldier and you had to pack light, this would serve very well as a restricted calorie 24-hour ration. The way the menu variation is, I mean, yeah, you're not getting a lot of calories, but 
that's what the food pack at Long Range Patrol always was. 1,200 calories that's supposed to last a guy for a full day. I mean, this would do the same. Without too much of a reduction in your physical performance, you could, you could eat just one of these a day for like between five and ten days before really getting messed up from it. But two a day, that'll do the trick. And three, you're eating well. That's 3,900 calories there. These things are 1,300 to 1,350 calories each. Yeah, get this. In 2020, this thing is going to finally be in a pouch, you know, the outer pack. They're going to take it out of that iconic, you know, lunch bag, school lunch bag style, you know, packaging. They're going to be packing these things in waterproof, fully waterproofed plastic packs, you know, just like the USMRE. It will finally include the FRH. They won't be issued separately anymore. 2020, that's when these things are going to change a lot. They're also coming up with a uh, cold weather ration, finally. MCWR, Mountain Cold Weather Ration. They're going to be coming up with that. that. That'll be out in 2020 as well, I'm pretty sure. And that's if funding, you know, permits. There might be, like, some kind of issue or something happens with funding. That's, that's how, you know, these projects will fail but they can do it and they probably should Canada gets cold what if they're having a fight on their own turf they're gonna need a cold weather ration Man, I'm tearing this up use this other ketchup I feel like the ketchup is almost essential it's kind of bland without it but bland is good sometimes I mean for some people that you know don't want to I don't know I'm not really sure why people like bland food. Anyway. This date square is so rich with molasses and shortening. Mm. Gotta say, this is like a perfect meal. Not too sure about Kit Kats and a military ration. These things probably melt super easily. Not very long shelf life, but for the short term, and if you're in the right conditions, it's a great morale boost. The only thing left is this blue drink. Oh yeah, the Tic Tacs. That just has a very standard blue Gatorade sports drink flavor. It's kind of hard to describe. It has like a indistinguishable citric acid light raspberry maybe or something kind of fruit flavor anybody has tried that light blue you know glacier gatorade it's like the same thing the tic tacs i feel like this is kind of ridiculous actually they they need chewing gum or like a little toothbrush or something this is not like a good effective thing to have in a ration i don't feel like it is at all but that's just my opinion. Just a hard peppermint flavored sugar candy. And that's it. I mean, the only thing left is this thing. And check this out. It grows. See that? This is great for washing. You know, you, it doesn't take up any space. And look at that, it's a cloth. Not super strong, see? It's kind of weak. But you could wash yourself up with this thing. And if you didn't do what I just did, it'll last, you know, a good hand and maybe arm cleaning. Clean your feet or what have you. Save a few of these and, you know, before you go to sleep, you can actually have like a little mini sponge bath type thing. An excellent addition to the ration. So there you go. A 2018 data production Canadian Forces IMP menu number 18. Shepherd's pie. You cannot go wrong with this menu. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new or old. All right, cool. See ya.